Why do you think the slow starts are happening and what is it going to take or what have the conversations been like about changing that? Um, the slow starts is just, um, you know, us coming on being ready to play. Uh, the last game they came out was a little more ready to play than we were and they, and they got into a big lead. And, you know, some of the conversations had is just us playing harder. You know, that's all we have to do, come out and play harder and uh, play our game. How do you change that if you're in the NBA Finals, not being ready to play to start a game? Uh, you know, you can't, I, I don't know. I mean, it's the NBA Finals, the last two teams standing. Uh, just got to come out and play harder. You know, it ain't really too about X's and O's. It's nothing about that. It's just come out and, and play harder, you know, from the jump ball, and, and you got to want it. What type of adjustments do you think you have to make uh, to gain three to become a better point guard? I'm not making no adjustments. <laughs> I'm, uh, regardless of what anybody says or regardless of what you guys say or, uh, about how I play, it doesn't matter. You know, I'm going to play my game regardless of, of what happens. Uh, I'm going to go out and, and give 110% and try to find a way to help us win the game. But did you, did you feel like you need to improve in your defense, your offense, something like that? Not definitely, any, definitely. Okay. It's always, always room for improvement. Um, always room to get better. But the, 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 the style of play that I play with, that's not changing. How do you develop that mentality? Because the last two years, I mean, people have always said, that, how do you get that tunnel vision to kind of block out the noise and still play your game? Or is it something you had to develop, or does it motivate you? How do you uh, I definitely uh, had to develop it. You know, I didn't really get that much attention in college, you know, until I got to the NBA. But it's just something that comes along with the territory, I feel. Like I'm doing something right. I feel like, um, you know, if every year I come back a little better, the more negative I'm here. So I feel like I'm, uh, I'm doing a good job of getting better, getting my team better. We're in the NBA Finals now, and the more negative you hear, I mean, uh, the better you're doing. So that's how I look at it. How has Derek Fisher been able to help you? And I know it's only been a short time since he's been on the team, but what's your relationship like with him? Oh, it's great. You know, Derek's a great guy, man. He, uh, he knows a lot about the game. Uh, he's been in many different situations, you know, down 0-2 in the finals, different things. You know, he knows how to handle certain situations. Um, sometimes I just sit back and just talk to him and pick his brain a little bit. About, about different things, and uh, he's been a great help for me. From a point guard's perspective, what has the Heat's defense been able to do early in games to limit Kevin's shots? Uh, nothing really. I mean, Kevin's got shots uh, the last game. Uh, I think we just missed a few open shots. Um, you know, they've been a lot of aggra uh, uh, aggressive on our pick and roll coverage, on our pick and roll, so takes the ball out of uh, me and Kevin's hands and start of the game. But uh, we just got to do a better job of getting them easier shots.